This is a true story. I was laying in my bed after work from the Goodwill. I was there like 11 months, just laying there telling myself, thinking that, man, I know I can do better. I need something better. This is crazy. The lady from the uh, workforce center called and I answered the phone. Hello. She said, there's this, uh, there's a employer, a company that is looking to hire. And it was the next day I was in an interview, signing my W-2s and everything else. And I've been working there ever since. My most recent hire was a young Marine who was a recovering heroin and meth addict who spent every night last year on the streets of Colorado Springs, except for the few nights he spent in jail. The overall problem of homelessness usually has so many different factors. Need for mental health support, need for medical support, and need for employment, need for housing. Those are four really huge problems that the average individual has a hard time problem solving through. And so try to do that when you couldn't sleep last night because you were freezing outside and you haven't had your anxiety medication for months. You know, those are kinds of things that I don't think anybody would choose that life. When I got out of prison, I didn't have anything. I had an ID. That was it. And I did get a minimum wage job. I mean, at first it was good. And when you do work in prison, it's for 72 cents a day. So 9.30 an hour sounded great. But then when you get out in the real world, 9.30 is not that great. The Road to Work program helped me when I didn't have um, enough money for food, they gave me a voucher. When I didn't have a job, they helped me out with uh, bus passes to go find one. When I didn't have interview clothes, they gave me a voucher to get interview clothes. They offered to pay my rent and you know clothing and stuff like that, and pay you know $3,500 for my CDL. I saw this cycle when people get out of prison that when they work minimum wage jobs, they're barely making it, they're struggling. I saw many people, you know, go back to prison, you know, three weeks after they get out of prison. The kids need the parents. The parents have to be stable. Households can only be stable if they have money. I've changed since the minimum wage job compared to the job I have now is, you know, instead of making 9.30 an hour, I'm making 20 bucks an hour. Uh, full benefits, 401k, everything. I can afford to bring my daughter down from California because that's where her and her mother live. I can afford to pay child support. I have been transformed by seeing other lives changed. Um, to see these guys regain their self-esteem and to be productive members of society again has forever changed me just in the short time that we've been doing this. I would really love for more employers to consider getting involved. I think the risk to the employer is minimal. It just takes a little bit of time. Um, but I think that if more employers could get involved, not only would it increase the number of jobs that are available, it would increase the types of opportunities that are available to these individuals.